As a clinical hypnotherapist for over 20 years, the domino was not the first thought that people had. It's the freaking second one that grips in and we're off to the races. I'm going to tell you what reached me. It's when I would blend the science that I knew from all my training, but then I combined. It is so much fun to share my favorite um, authors with you. This one I just love because it's all about habit and but seen in a different way. And I'm all about habits and patterns and behaviors. And that was, I don't know, 80% of my work as a clinical hypnotherapist for over 20 years, dealing with people's habitual ways in life, whether it was thinking or whatever, eating. Uh, but the thing that if I boiled everything down, what started the domino effect to re-engaging habits and going back to the old programming, the domino was not the first thought that people had. I'm going to go drink, or I'm just going to hit snooze, or I don't really need to write today, or a negative thought. I just can't do it. It's not that first thought. It's the freaking second one that grips in and we're off to the races. So that first one, we never have responsibility for, ever, because they can just come out of the blue. Thoughts can come out of the blue. Boom. You know, piglets. You know, I get, oh, piglet, what are you talking about? So it's the second thought, and then it's how we go about things. Now, have I said anything that you didn't know? No, I did not. How can we remember the changes that we want to make? How can we remember? I'm going to tell you what transformed me and sent me right to school, which was going to a clinical hypnotherapist for a lot of my negative self-talk, dreams, visions, image, and all that stuff. She was great. Her name was Gloria, and she was glorious. And I did that for years, and it was so powerful, and it allowed me to really harness the power of empowering thinking, encouraging thinking, but not at the level of just simple affirmations, which, you know, the, the mind is, the mind doesn't believe is true. Blah, blah. We already know that. We know that too. I'm not going to even go over these things, but I, I'm going to tell you what reached me. It's when I would blend the science that I knew from all my training, but then I combined the soul and a connection to God, to the universe, to divine wisdom, so that in blending the two, it stuck with me because it reached the inside of me, not the outside only, intrinsic and extrinsic, aspiration and motivation to find the heart of inspiration. Long-winded. Don't even know if that made sense, but it made so much sense to me because it is what changed my world. It changed my world from, from trying to fix everything and heal the food stuff and heal the negative thought and heal all the anxiety and heal, 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 heal. It's when I blended it together. So I want to share with you a book that uh, it's actually just the, the beginning of the book. I'm not going to read the whole book, but it is so good. There's a hole in my sidewalk. Portia Nelson. Okay. And I love the prologue of her book. And then I'm going to read you. She does the, 
the autobiography in five short chapters of her life. Oh, it's so good. But here's her prologue. My life has been a series of wonderful experiences. It's a pity I wasn't there for most of them. How many habits, patterns, negative self-concept, negative beliefs are you waiting to get over so that you can have a life that you enjoy? Hmm. Yeah. Let's not do that. Okay. I'm going to read these chapters and just think of whatever you want to. And you can close your eyes if you want. Chapter one, I walk down the street. There's a deep hole in the sidewalk. I fall in. I'm lost. I'm helpless. It isn't my fault. It takes forever to find a way out. Chapter two, I walk down the same street. There's a deep hole in the sidewalk. I pretend I don't see it. I fall in again. I can't believe I'm in the same place. But it isn't my fault. It still takes me time to get out. Chapter three. I walk down the same street. There's a deep hole in the sidewalk. I see it there. I still fall in. It's habit. But my eyes are open. I know where I am. It is my fault. I get out immediately. Chapter four. I walk down the same street. There's a deep hole in the sidewalk. I walk around it. Chapter five. I walk down another street. Close your eyes if you haven't already. And the breath is in and out through your nose. And in front of you is the life that you have been walking down the same street, the same people, the same work, the same situations, the same challenges, the same you. So just see that in your mind's eye for a moment you can actually start with where you are right now. Look at where you live. Look at who's in your life. Look at who you are publicly, professionally. And then turn your attention to you. And breathe. Traveling into that private, self that exists beneath what you do, who you're with, your goals. Imagine that you could walk down another street. Not wrestling with the same situations, and what I'm talking about are the same thoughts, the same beliefs, the same behaviors, or you fall down into the pit. Rolling your shoulders back, your eyes remain closed. Really feeling the breath stronger, more intentional. 
What would it be like to make a different choice? To choose a different thought that you repeat to yourself. What would be different? And notice where your mind just went. Same sidewalk. Is it a habit? Did you fall in? Find your way out and find yourself in your heart and how you want to feel right now. And stay focused on that, how you want to feel right now. And then imagine walking down a different street, a new thought, a new belief. Not being the victim of old programming, taking full responsibility for the thoughts you repeat, choosing to go down a different street. Today, I will. Today, I can. Right now, I am. That's a choice. Slowly bring your attention right behind your eyelids still closed. And then when you are ready, open your eyes. And this is where I say, grab your pen and paper. But I want to read chapter three, four and five again. I walk down the same street. There's a deep hole in the sidewalk. I see it is there. I still fall in. It's a habit, but my eyes are open. I know where I am. It is my fault. I get out immediately. Chapter four. I walk down the same street. There's a deep hole in the sidewalk. I walk around it. Chapter five. I walk down another street. What if this street is a brand new way of thinking? Empowering words, encouraging words, not delusional, but not magical, but manageable encouragement, manageable, realistic. But imagine what would change for you.